This is the state of my hair. Um, it's not really frizzy, just like around the perimeters and like my edges and stuff, but we're gonna fix all of that. Like this is a little frizzy, but the actual hair is okay. My hair is perfectly straight, but we're gonna add a little bounce of three of the VIP products. I'm gonna use the Pro Long Wear Oil, um, the Silk Shot Spray, and the Silk Shot Serum. Both of these I use on my actual natural hair in its curly state, but they're technically meant as heat protectants. So, we're gonna use them today. And I'm only gonna use a little, little, I told y'all. I only put heat on my hair once a year, and I do it at a hairdresser. So, I haven't used this maybe in like three years. <laughs> and, um, yeah, to touch it. And I used it like three years ago just to do what I'm doing today, to touch up the flesh. Very, very little of uh, the silk shot. So I, like, not even a dime. Like, very little. And I hit my, uh, my ends and rub this through my hair. And then I'm gonna hit it with a little oil. So my hair will be dry, you know. No matter to be protected and all stain on it. I'm gonna blow dry it first to smoothen it out just a little bit. Cause it's pretty much smooth, but it's just those little kinks. And then, and it gives it that body that I like. And then I'm gonna do it on medium. Very warm. It's warm, not hot. The warm heat is not. It's very cool. So that's just blow dry. And it made it like super, super soft, super, super flowy. And again, I could just go by my day like this if I wanted to. I didn't even have to do anything else to it. But that just moving the hair out made it soft. So when I go in and curl it, it's gonna curl so pretty. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start apart from my look today. I wanna bang it. A little swoop. A swoop. There we go. Oh, this is high school Kiari. Man, y'all don't understand. Like, this is me. So, because I have so many new people on here that really don't know my story, let me go back a few years. So, a lot of people are asking me, like, how long did it take to grow your hair? Did you like big chop it? And you know, like how, I don't know. <laughs> Let me tell y'all how it went, I don't know. So when I was in college, I went to ULL in Lafayette. Um, after like my first year, I wanna say my sophomore year, I started wearing clippings and I like how like it gave me, it gave me a little body to my hair. Like my hair had like thickness to it. Um, what I did was, so I'm gonna go down, bring it down, just bring it up, real simple. So what I did was, um, I danced and I sweated a lot of my hair. And then in high school, we would notice that my hair was just eating itself up. Like it was going from the ends and just splitting up and we would cut and cut and cut to the point where we couldn't figure out what was wrong. We believed that it was too much protein buildup. My hair had way too much protein buildup. So 
what we did was we started using a different shampoo because the shampoo I had was for protein or whatever it was. I don't, I don't know y'all. This was eight years ago. And I started wearing clip-ins to make my hair look fuller and longer because I love long hair. And my mom was like, why don't you just get a soap in? And I was like, I'm down, but if I get one, I'm not getting another relaxer. At this point, my hair was doing so good making its comeback by the time I got to college that we didn't want to put any a relaxer in it if it didn't need it. And at the time, at that time, flat irons were like busting. Like, I'm a roller wrap type of girl, but at that time, you know, flat irons, the chi iron was like the thing that hairdressers used. Oh my goodness. There we go. Chi irons were like the best thing ever. And they really could get into your scalp, into your, I mean, it, 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 made, it looked like I had a relaxer when I did. And I would come home and get my hair done. So at one point, my mom was like, why don't you just get a, a sewing? So I got my first sewing. The experience was horrible. The girl who did it braided my hair down so tight in the front, it hurt it. We got the wrong kind of hair. And it didn't even look like I had a sewing. And for me, that was the big thing. Like, I wanted it to look different. I had been looking my same way my whole dang life i wanted it to be different and so we moved on to another girl she was cool and then i think my cousin did one before and then i let my friend christian do it because i loved how christian i'm gonna take her below she still does hair she does regular natural hair relaxers cuts she's like the queen of bobs um i let my friend christian do my hair and um this is when christian had just started out um, and I love Christian Sullivan because I used to love her cuts. Like, she used to layer it very pretty. Then I moved on from Christian, and my mom found this her stylist in around 2015 or so, or something like that. Like, 13, I'm lying. Like, I've um, been going to Ashanti for years. So my mom found this, her stylist, her name was Ashanti. She was a beast at doing short hair because my mom had short hair at the time. But then my mom wanted to grow her hair out, so she started getting sew-ins. And then she was like, for my birthday, I believe, like for my first sew-in from Ashanti, she was like, um, all this is between 2011 and 2012. So I had got like three sew-ins because they all used to last for maybe six weeks. Um. So then, and I always knew, this is another point, I always knew how to take care of my hair. I always knew what it needed. And I knew that if I had a sew-in, that I wouldn't need a relaxer anymore. I had already stopped getting them so often. My hairdresser at the time was this lady named Monche. Um, Monche had been doing my hair, me and my sister's hair, from, whew. The first time she ever did my hair was still in elementary school. And then Hurricane Katrina happened and I went back to one of my old hairdressers that lives in Houston. So if you're in Houston, look up Nicole, I'll tag her down. She still does hair and Nikki is a beast. Miss Nicole, I love her. And then when I moved back to New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina, me and my sister started going to my shade. And I think I went to my shade from uh, the ninth grade until the until college. And then Marche didn't really do any like sewing. She's really just like a, you know, like the old school I could do, not old school, I don't even like to say old school. Like she was the flat iron slash, um, I could do a relaxer, wash, and even with my natural hair, we'll go back to Marche to get it pressed out and to get it washed and deep conditioned. Like she was a beast on a good wash and a good um a good flat. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I love Moshe. And then Moshe stopped doing hair. Um because you know that everybody kind of started getting so ones at that point. And then I started going to Ashanti because my mom was going to Ashanti and she had suggested a sewing. 
So I think my first store in Water Shanti was like 2012. 2000. No, my first store in Water Shanti had to be in 2013, I believe. I don't know. 2012, 2013, I got my big shop. So the, I don't know if I got stolen by Shanti first or Big Shop first. I don't know. Monche did my Big Shop. I had a bob. And then I ended up going to Ashanti to get the sewing. Somewhere in that mix. I don't remember the dates. That's where I get fuzzy. But I got my Big Shop in 2013. I remember that. And then I started getting sewing by Ashanti previously after that. And then Ashanti used to do my sewing maybe every six months. And I would make them last for like... And I'm not gonna lie, they will be so neat and so, so, they'll be so neat and so full and they will last for so long. And I wouldn't get tired of them, but I did get tired of them. I'm not gonna lie, I hate it. I didn't hate sewing. I love the hair and I love the maintenance, but the itching would kill me. I hated the itching. And then also, I used to um, curl the front of my hair a little bit. Not too much, but I had any damage in the front of my hair. So, I really stopped getting sewing. Like, at some point, I said that I was going to do, like, a no heat year on my hair. And then I stopped getting sewing. I think I had my last sewing in, like, 2000. So, I started wearing my own hair. I stopped getting the winds at some point let me bring it and i stopped heat for one whole year and my hair had reached it had grown from the bob to like here like here, like here. and it was like whoa wow like my hair grew so much and I realized that my hair didn't like heat. And then it taught me to actually play in my curls. It taught me to actually find what my curls like. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, them years when I was figuring out my curls, I struggled like a mofo. Like I struggled. I struggled with finding products. I struggled with learning how to do styles. I had no idea how to maintain my hair. Like I, I struggled with natural hair. My mom would tell people, natural hair not for everybody because my daughter having trouble. Like she struggled with her natural hair and I did. I struggled so hard. Like, and then I found, then I started going on YouTube and I would never find hairstylists. I mean, not hairstylists. I would never find YouTubers. One, who actually knew how to take care of healthy hair or two, um, Styles that I like that had the same kind of hair texture as me, or they would braid their hair a lot, and I don't know how to braid. I still don't know how to braid. Y'all don't ever ask me to do a like a braid to the scalp or a flat twist type routine. I don't know how to do it. I'm gonna tell y'all that now. I'm gonna keep it 100 percent with y'all. Um, but I knew what I needed to do to keep my hair healthy. That's why I was going right, but it was like a struggle doing it, like it was a struggle detangling, it was a struggle styling it it was keeping it in the style like it'll look cute for an hour and i'll go somewhere and come back and look ugly the next hour and i'll just be like i don't know what to do so i started watching youtubers and i found juliana palencia let me tell y'all first we fixed the product problem the product problem was i didn't like anything on the market if anything that came out of walmart and salads that was a shampoo and conditioner for natural hair i have tried it and i have hated it it's only one brand that i trust that's coming out of two brands miel organics and as i am everything else i hated it i'll use it it'll be fine for a week or two the next month my hair would hate it and i would just be like why can't i find a shampoo that works for my hair. Even the Myel and the As I Am stuff, great products, and I still use stuff by them. But my As I Am doesn't have like I think a market shampoo. They have a good co wash, and I love the co wash. I just don't use it anymore because I don't really need to. But um, my Miel Organics, I used their shampoo and stuff, and I loved it the first like month. And my hair got used to it, and I had to switch to something else. And then I'll go back to it, and I liked it, and da 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 on and on and on and on and on. This went for years, y'all. I struggled with finding like hair products that I like. And then 
um, Ashanti, the one who was doing my sewing, came out with her hair product line, and it was a shampoo and conditioner. My mom got it for me for Christmas, and I believe that was in 2015. I could be fuzzy on the date, but 2015 for Christmas, I think my mom bought me the entire VIP line. So the grow shampoo, the grow conditioner, the serum, the spray, the Mardi Gras whip buttercream or whatever, the oil and the drops. She bought it all. Three weeks I've noticed the difference and I have never used another shampoo since. Never. I'm never, my hair never adapted to it. It never got used to it. It loves it and it's still one of them type of people. If my hair is filthy, I'm not gonna use my good products. I use my good products when my hair is clean. So, I would like get a different like leave-in conditioner for like the middle of the week when I didn't want to use my good stuff and I just still end up using my good stuff because the, it works better y'all one thing I'm never gonna do on this on this app or this video or this channel or anything is lie or fake the phone for money or anything if I use it I love it and VIP I've been using that long actually I was an ambassador before I had youtubers before I even made a YouTube. She, I would go back to Shanti for, for um, sewings and she would just be like, wow, your hair is growing. Like, you're doing good. And just like maintenance. And she was like, your hair is growing, it's doing so good. And then, so not last year, the year before last, I went to her and I was like, I need a haircut. And she was like, come. I said, but I want to get it cut curly. Because I would get all my haircuts cut straight, but I wanted a curly cut because my hair was like V-shaped. I mean, triangle shape. It was growing weird and I hated it. So My last sewing was in 2015 to 2016. I didn't take it out until 2016. And then I got my last flat iron. I started kind of playing in my curly hair in 2015. And then I got my last flat iron in November of 2016. And then I got the Grow Healthy Hair collection, the whole grow line for Christmas in 2016. Then um, I started going, I'd say from 2016 to 2017, no flat irons. I did one year, no heat from November to October of 2017. And I'll insert my hair length from that November to when I had, when I said my hair had grown to here, that was in November of 2016. The next picture I'm going to show you is from October 2017. And then 18, I got my curly cut with Ashanti. And then 2019, that's the other big chop. I got another curly cut with Ashanti, 
2020 here we are now you guys just saw me get my hair transformation and if you didn't see that reel on instagram girl I went viral i'll include it in here Last year, at the end of the year, Ashanti uh, did my hair again, and we um, we colored it and we cut it again in a curly thing. And then she did another video. Y'all, the video went viral. It's like right now, it's probably like two hundred thousand views on that video. And I was like, okay. And people were like, how does she get her hair like this? How does she do it? Da, da, da. And people with my family members would call me and they'll be like, what do I do for this? What do I do for that? So I'm like, oh, y'all feeling the curly hair. Y'all like it. And I finally had got my routine down from watching Juliana Palencia because she had, um, it was the fire washing go she did. I mean, I was like, oh, I've been washing my hair wrong. And then Ashanti is great for education. So I told her, and she was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw her channel. And she was like, yeah, yeah, you can. Um, she was like, yeah, if you wash your hair differently, it'll work. And then Ashanti would give me so many tips and stuff. And then I incorporated all of that, y'all. And my hair just started growing like wild like. I mean, it always would grow, but like the thickness, the healthiness of it, the everything of my hair, it grew in it and it prevailed so i said well i'm gonna make a youtube channel because if i can do it who don't know how to breathe who don't know how to style like that can get healthy hair i could get anybody to do this i can help everybody get healthy natural hair and i can do it from kids all the way to adults and i believe that healthy hair versus length is the goal and your hair gets to a point where it's kind of hard to maintain when it's way too long so my hair got to that point it was so long and people was under the comments and I, like oh my god why is she cutting her beautiful hair and it's because it was so long to maintain like it was extremely maintain like unmaintainable and i think having manageable hair is more important than having you know long and pretty hair like this is a perfect win for me. But we're gonna get the waist lift because that's the goal. The goal is waist lift. 